It's a uh, um, it's a crime film. It takes place in this like the underbelly of Hollywood, and uh, not Hollywood movie making Hollywood, the town Hollywood. And it's three separate crime stories, but the same characters float in and out of all three stories. So by the end of the film, you don't so much feel like you've seen three separate stories. You feel like you've seen one film about a community of characters. But you know, it's very funny. All right, you know, I mean, that's 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 this constant running through all this. Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why you try to fuck? Like a bitch, in this, we, we pretty much stuck to the script. You know, Quentin writes anyway in this very idiosyncratic, naturalistic form. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? You know, he inverts sentences for you. I mean, all the things that an actor often wants to do, and in fact, climbing into that language is one of the things that lets you into the characters and lets you into the sort of style of his film. Well, Quentin told me he wrote this role for me, so I was amazed that I was going to be able to play a character who had that many words in a film and who had this depth of character and went through all these different changes. It was what every actor would look for. The thing that makes him different is the fact that he is an actor and he gives actors things to do and say that are unique in their um, complexity and in the volume of things that we get to say. I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. I think it's a, it's a twofold reason. One, I mean, they just really responded to the characters. I mean, you know, they liked the script. Two, they could see from Reservoir Dogs that I am, I'm an actor-oriented director. I care about performance. So like, one, they get an example to play parts that they want to play, and they get somebody who understands a little bit about acting. I don't need you to tell me how good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. It's Quentin Tarantino's ability to cut gore and violence with humor that makes it so funny. I mean, he, that's a, an, a, an innate ability he has, you know. And I think all the actors he chose are actors that look first for humor and characters. Okay, gentlemen, you've both been to county before, I'm sure. Here it comes. Damn, what a fucking cold. Better you than me, gentlemen. Audiences laugh their butt off <laughs> whenever I've seen it. So, I mean, this movie is definitely a comedy. It's supposed to make you laugh. All the scenes are designed to make you laugh. You know, however, at the, you know, at the same time, there are scenes in it that aren't funny. There are scenes in there to be taken seriously. Actually, I like that in comedies. All right, you know, I always like it when a comedy, you know, is not just joke, 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 but actually takes itself seriously enough. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to fucking acknowledge it. All right, it was a miracle. Everybody has wake-up calls, and you have more than one during your lifetime. You have to pay attention to what's going on around you and not just, you know, kind of blow it off. Things like that happen all the time. You know, it's funny, I was in the Die Hard office when I first started doing this film. I was looking around the office at all these pictures, and there was this one thing on the wall that's been stuck in my mind since I saw it. It was this one little statement that says, you know, be careful of the toes you step on today before they can be connected to the ass you'll have to kiss tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been like ping, ping, ping in my mind. But I always, you know, try, try and treat people from the lowest PA up to, you know, the director the same way that I want them to treat me. I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. So dance good. Mr. Saturday Night, I danced with John Travolta in a movie on a disco floor with flashing lights. This is something, I mean, it's just too absurd. It's like um, swinging on a trapeze with Burt Lancaster or something. It's classic. I couldn't resist. The, the audiences, uh, they're, they're responding exactly how I would have wanted them to respond which is basically they're appreciating the work that uh, I did to create a character that was effective. And that's really what I wanted out of it, personally.